Good evening. I am Eric Sinjong, the Uniparty President. President. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. Please stand. Please put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please welcome Aaron Rangel and Sylvia Gonzalez to the stage. Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Brianna Portillo, and it has been my pleasure to serve as Senior Class Vice President for graduating class of 2022. I would like to welcome all the parents, relatives, and friends of the Irreplaceable. I know that this is a very special event for all of us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the class, the staff of Arlita High School, and especially all the parents for their support. Without all of you, this night may not have been possible. I would now like to introduce student body president Eric Sison to share some parting words with us. Thank you. for this moment and proudly say that we are here today enjoying and realizing the moments we had in school are finally coming to an end. We started our journey in our Lita as children not knowing how fast our time would come and now we have grown up to end our Lita journey as adults and finally set off into the real world. Every single one of us here today and those we have lost have made our mentors and those who believe in us proud. These past four years have made me thankful for the time everyone finally got to enjoy with their friends and teachers in person. COVID had struck us in our sophomore year, and many of us had been glad thinking it would only be two weeks. But here, but we were soon proven wrong because destiny had instead served our ties to our friends and peers and caused the previous classes to lose the memories they should have also enjoyed. We will never get that year and a semester back, but we persevered as a class and as a family to finally be able to see each other again, our teachers, and meet new friends since freshman year, we've been told to enjoy the time we got. And now, here we are standing on our fight, saying goodbye to our leader, and welcoming the real world and its challenges we will soon face. Time is a blessing and a curse we can never get back, and the time we use together can write the story that can never be replaced. Our class name, being the Irreplaceables, has a greater meaning than just the class name we chose. The memories we have made together, whether it be with our friends, family, are truly irreplaceable because we can always come back to them to make us feel better. Everyone has struggled in their own ways and these struggles have made us who we are. But today, everything we have gone through finally pays off. Our senior motto, some have a story, but we made history, relates because we have endured a part of history, but now we will soon be writing history 
as we enter the real world and making the change we want to see. The stories we have read, heard, and witnessed will soon come to life through us, because we will soon be the new leaders of the world. I know that each of us will follow the path that is made for us and make ourselves pleased with what we want to do with our lives. And I thank every single one of you for being here today, and I hope we enjoy our final moment together being the class of 2022. Please welcome Christian Sai to the stage. Before I begin, I'd like to hold a moment of silence to remember those we have lost due to COVID-19 and other causes. Thank you. When you're in 10th grade, we experienced something that the world has never seen, a global pandemic. We have lost a year and a half of our lives one lockdown, a year and a half that we may never get back. Yes, everything went by quickly. As Michael Altshuler said, the bad news is time flies. But the good news is, you are the pilot. We cannot reverse time, nor can we slow it, but we can control how we use it. As we enter the post-high school world, we can begin to reclaim our lives back and leave a mark. Even as we graduate, we are already leaving a mark since we are the first graduating class after the pandemic to have a normal graduation. It is undeniable that we have been through history and have made history. As we graduate, We'll be closing a chapter in our lives, but opening new ones. We'll create new memories and make new friends. However, one thing is certain. The memories and the mark we have made here at Lira will be irreplaceable. The pandemic has required us to be flexible. When we were in ninth and 10th grade, everything was normal. However, life throws us a curveball during the latter half of our 10th grade year. We are required to wear masks, self-isolate, and socially distance. We are also required to master online learning. Constantly, health and safety guidelines were changed to adjust the fluid situation. However, we are able to survive and thrive at the end. We are able to bounce back. We are able to stay flexible despite, on, despite online learning. Our class has truly been remarkable and irreplaceable. After you graduate, you encounter countless opportunities, so take advantage of each and every one of them. These opportunities may be in the form of setbacks, and we may want to run away from them. However, I can assure you that overcoming a setback will reap better rewards rather than circumventing them. When I was in 10th grade, I was enrolled in an honors English class. This class was very challenging and had high expectations, which may be considered dropping the class and enrolled in an easier one. However, a supportive counselor encouraged me to stay in the class, and eventually I excelled and earned top marks. Because of this experience, I learned that setbacks and roadblocks are just opportunities for us to learn and grow. We should not run away from challenges. Rather, we should embrace and persevere through them. Before I conclude my speech, I'd like to share a memory with you. When I was in ninth grade, one of my teachers mentioned who our high school diploma is for. This teacher stated that the diploma is not truly for us, the graduating students, but for parents, relatives, educators, and everybody else who has helped us throughout high school. Look at everybody in the stands. They're happy to see you graduate. Your diploma is a symbol of not only your success as a student, but it's a symbol of your parents, relatives, and educators' success. So thank them when you get a chance today. With that, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2022, The Irreplaceables.
Mr. Jonathan Haynes, Principal. It is my pleasure to present you to the candidates for graduation. They are placeable. The class of 2022. Thank you, Brianna. It is my pleasure to accept the irreplaceable the class of 2022. Class of 2022, irreplaceables. You guys are leaving me, huh? But it's time, so I'm gonna just do a song for you. from the memories that we've shared. Just to think, 
we did all that and may I say not in a shy way oh no for little mustangs oh little mustangs here with my souls I did my my way what what is a man what has he got if not himself, then he has enough to say the things he truly feels, and not the workers of a one who kneels. The record shows eyes and blows, and it is. Friends and class of 2022 irreplaceables, class of 2022. This year is special, and you have made history as the first emerging in-person graduating class with mask being optional since the introduction of the COVID-19 pandemic. Class of 2022, you have demonstrated that you have earned the titles of effective communicators critical thinkers, community contributors, and most of all, self-directed learners. You have mastered these qualities and now you are ready to apply them as you make your mark on society. You gathered your strength and you have reestablished a sense of normalcy in our world. We did not allow ourselves to be either defined or defeated by COVID-19, instead, we are still here today. We're here creating new memories filled with love and life and joy and most of all, Mustang spirits. Mustang graduates, the irreplaceables, you have been the love of my life. And I wanna thank you for your zest for life. You've adapted, you have persevered to emerge as the irreplaceables. So what does it mean to be irreplaceable? How is that word defined? Irreplaceable is something that is lost or damaged, is impossible to get back. It means unique, unrepeatable, priceless, invaluable, beyond price, treasure, prize, and most of all, cherished. The Mustang spirit is resilient, and it lives on and will continue to live on. The senior class of 2022, irreplaceable, the world is your stage. Create a future full of irreplaceable hope, irreplaceable joy, irreplaceable inspiration, irreplaceable success, and most of all, irreplaceable love. I commend you for your effort and your spirit. The human spirit will triumph, and the Mustang spirit is alive and free. I am proud to say that the early of Mustangs did their part in combating this pandemic. You bubbled down, you continued to learn, and today you are here and you are graduating. You did it all and you did it your way. That's why I did it my way for you. This experience is locked in time and therefore is also irreplaceable. Your voices are the voices and the visions that will bring positive change to our collective society. As you become the doctors and the lawyers and the politicians and the teachers and the leaders of this great country that we live in, the United States of America. Irreplaceable class of 2022, you have made Arlita High School proud. The irreplaceable in your class.
Care produced 61 silver seal bearers. Now, what is a silver seal bearer? It is a student that has a grade point average of 3.0 to 3.59. If you're here today and if you are a silver seal bearer, would you please stand and wave at the crowd? Irreplaceable class of 2022 also produced 26 gold silk bearers. So a gold silk bearer has a grade point average of three point. No, a, a gold silk bearer has a grade point average of three point six or higher. If you are a gold silk silver, a gold silk bearer, will you please stand and win the crowd? Mustangs, you have made us proud and we respect your accomplishments. You may also know, audience, that many of the graduates are wearing various cards and medallions. These medallions and cards represent other areas of outstanding accomplishments and awards that these students have received during their years of study here at Arlena. Class of 2022, you have produced 19 superintendents honor roll recipients. Now, an honor roll superintendent recipient has a GPA of 3.8 or higher. So if you got the superintendent's honor roll award, please stand and wave to the crowd. Thank you. Also in this class, it has produced 44 persistent award recipients. Now, a, persi a persistent award recipient is a student who somehow ran into obstacles while they were trying to do their high school, uh, graduate, run the uh, high school course. They worked through it, they buckled down, they went to tutoring, but whatever was necessary, and they are here today to show, as Mr. C. Christian stated, that setback is not necessarily the end of you. It should be the beginning of you. So if you are a persistent award recipient, please stand and wave at the crowd. Thank you. Congratulations. Barlita High School has three small learning communities. We have Smart, which is what you are. We have Social Justice at 1 o'clock, and we had DAPA this morning. Each learning community has chosen one senior to exemplify the heart and the spirit of their learning community. Social Justice chose Eric Sension, who is over there. Dapa chose Brandon Cooper, who I don't think is here, he was at the one o'clock. And Smart has chosen Christian C. Where did Christian stand? The highest honor in any high school environment is that of valedictorian. Valedictorians have a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 or higher, which means they could not have gotten any grade lower than an A in any class that they took, and they aced it. We have four valedictorians this year. Uh, valedictorian number one, top valedictorian in the school belongs to this SLC, and that's Christian C. Valedictorian number two, Rebecca Calderon, 4.27. Valedictorian Brenda Armas, 4.183. And Valedictorian Pamela Aguilar, 4.081. For the high school and the irreplaceable class of 2022, we are proud of you. Now, class of 2022, guys, I want to talk directly to you now. As you go forward in life, we charge you as Mustangs to be a light in the dark for others. Don't give up when the road gets rocky. Apply yourself, adapt, and use your irreplaceable nature to overcome again and again. Dream big and achieve your goals. Climb every mountain. Use all of your gifts and all of your talents to make this world a better place. Leave your imprint of generosity, servitude, integrity, and dependability in any situation that you find yourself. 
Some of you going directly to college, some of you are going to other, military, to other schools, and some of you are going to military service. Whatever your avenue, do not be discouraged or set back by failure. You have been prepared for this and you were born to succeed. You were born to excel and this is your time. Travel every path and cut a path where others have not ever even gone. Create a vision that you see of the world and be persistent. We believe in you, class of 2022. Smart, we believe in you. Your parents, they believe in you. But most of all, class of 22, I know that you believe in yourself. I know that you believe in yourself and you can never be replaced as you have made history. The first mask optional graduating class on the eve of the COVID pandemic. Today, collectively, we graduated 271 students. Some are viewing this from home and some are here. And some just made it like Carlos and a couple other people out there. We just got by by the skin of our teeth, but you're here. I hope being an Arlia High School Mustang will become one of your best and most cherished memories. I hope that you love, that your love for VAPA, smart, and social justice will endure. I hope that you will continue to count the small things as precious, like a breath of fresh air, like the shake of a hand, like the hug of a friend, or the presence of a teacher. These are the things that we were almost robbed of during the pandemic, but now we're getting them back. Most of all, I want you to remember what the first principal of this school, Dr. Linda Calvo, said. Once a Mustang, you will always be a Mustang. Thank you. And now, by the power vested in me, Jonathan Hayes, principal of Arlington High School, by the Board of Education of the Los Angeles Unified School District, I declare the irreplaceables, the class of 2022, have met the requirements for graduations and are now ready to receive their diplomas. Antonio Bonilla.
and heed it with, with honors. With honors, Brian Lopez. Alejandro Sanchez. Kimberly Harley. 
Emmanuel Jauregui. <laughs> Stephanie Carolina Melilla Campos. Angel Moreno. High honors, Savannah Rodas. Antonio Sanabria. Fernando Zamora. Melissa Carrillo. <laughs> A 
Alina Marie Castanoni.
country to receive this previous advisory. Miguel Hurtado. Vanessa Salas. Honors, Raquel. 
Now introducing Ms. French First Advisory. With honors, Yesenia Arciniega. Christopher Cepeda.
Javier Martínez. high honors, Michelle Lasset Rivera. Santos Marroquín.
as my last official act as class vice president, I accept these diplomas for the class of 2022. Thank you. 